In the beginning, I will show you a few different ways to open Design Moto UI Elements Pack. The first way is to click on the File menu and click Open. The second way is the hotkey, Control plus O if you don't have some other personalized hotkeys. The third way is to simply find the UI Elements Pack and to drag and drop it in the work area of Photoshop. To use the Design Moto UI Elements Pack, we should know how to detect the elements in the Photoshop document. To detect the elements, we use the Move tool. Move tool can detect single elements and or groups. The important thing is to check Auto Select and Show Transform Controls. By clicking on the element you want in the document, you automatically select the group containing the layers of that element, and the transform controls around it appear. Now you can see how to detect only one layer in the group. That is important, especially if the element is complex and consists of many layers. To select only the element we need and save it separately, we again select the whole group with the button element. We right-click the selected group and choose the duplicate group. Here we write the name for the new group. And as the destination, we choose New and write the name of the new document we want to create. Click OK and the new document is created, containing only the button that we need. Now there is too much empty space around the button. That problem we can solve in many different ways, but the most simple is to crop or trim. To trim, we select the Trim option from the Image menu. We choose the Transparent Pixels and check if it is adjusted so it trims on all four sides. Click OK and that is it. We have the document with the element we need. To use it further, we save it in a format that we need to continue working. In the File menu, we select Save for Web. Save for Web gives the best results in reference to the size of the file, and that is important to us now. The most used formats are JPEG and PNG. This button has transparent parts, so if we select the JPEG format, they become white, and that is not good if we want to put the element on a non-white background. That is why we are going to use the PNG, which saves the information about the color and the transparent pixels. Before you click on the Save button, make sure the transparency is checked. We click on Save button and check what we made. Sometimes you need to move the elements from one document to the other. It is simply done by drag and drop. We open the example document we already have. We click the tab that marks our document and pull it down so we can see both documents at the same time. Now we click on the source document to activate it, and simply drag and drop the desired group from the layer panel into the target document. Or directly from the source document, we drag and drop the element we want to the target document. If we need more elements, we can simply duplicate them by right-click on the group and then Duplicate Group. That is all for now. Thank you for your attention.